Hello folks, summer 25 for Salesforce is here and I'm going to take the send email action for a spin around the block very quickly for you. Well, this is a new version of the action and it brings new capabilities. At the same time, the format is quite different. Now we get collapsible sections of configure recipient details. You can collapse them, configure sender details and configure email content. Right, you still have the show advanced options section here. And let's see what changed here. So one of the important changes here is that we got new pickers and these new pickers are quite useful. Like for example, for sender type, we had to type what type of sender we're gonna use exactly the way it's displayed right here under the help bubble. Now we don't have to remember that we can actually pick it from this pull down here. And you'll see that on the left side, there is also a selection for standard type, which is kind of like your pick this choice. And you can also search your resources to point this to a variable value, for example, right? So, you know, that makes things easier. Now, when we want to create our email content, we can now enter the whole content right inside this action component here. Uh, previously, we had to create a text template or a formula or something like that a resource outside for us to be able to add some kind of formatted content in here that would make sense. Now we can actually start typing the subject and also the body of the email. We get to decide whether we want to view this in rich text or plain text. Um, format exactly like the text template resource. And remember though, if you choose to send your email in rich text format, you want to still set this to true, rich text formatted body to true. I'm actually quite surprised that this is not selected by default. It's 2025 and in most cases you would actually send out your email in HTML format. And as you are selecting your attachment that you need to send out, again, you can start typing here or you can search for resources and point this to a resource. And the attachment ID now accepts collections. You don't really have to change your attachment ID to a single resource variable. Um, you see, this is the attachment ID collection input over here. And when you're picking related record IDs, you get to, again, choose a record and search for resources, right? So you can choose from um, any of the object types here. And then, you know, under the object type, specify which record ID uh, you want to relate your email to. It's important to note that for the older API versions for your flows, you're gonna be still using the older version of the component. You can choose to switch to the newer version, but that's not going to be done automatically for you. So enjoy and let me know whether you like this component and how you are planning on using it.